Most people think about mosquitoes in terms of being vectors for disease. And they're very well known and they cause a lot of uh, problems uh, for humans and animals worldwide. But they're also really interesting because of the way they fly. And that's because of three features, really. First of all, they have really long, thin, narrow wings, much more so than most other insects. They also have a really, really high wing beat frequency, more than double that of any other similarly sized insects. It also moves its wings a really, really small amount. It beats its wings to a tiny 40 degrees when it moves its wings back and forth, and that's really, really small. Now, the reason why this is really interesting is that most insects produce their peak lift forces on what's called the translational part of the wing beat. And this is the phase of the wing beat where the wing is essentially just moving along in a straight line. So generally, the larger the angle you move your wing through, the more lift force you can produce. However, that obviously can't work for mosquitoes because they're using a really, really small angle. So we wanted to understand what aerodynamic tricks mosquitoes might be doing. So we use eight high-speed cameras to record mosquitoes flying freely around a chamber at 10,000 frames a second. And from there, we were able to extract out the three-dimensional wing movements that they use, and those we then fed into a computational fluid dynamics model, which can then simulate the airflow over the wings. And we can look at then the forces they produced and what clever aerodynamic tricks they might be using. So what we found was that mosquitoes are using three distinct aerodynamic mechanisms to support their weight. The first of these is something called a leading edge vortex. And this is something that's actually very well known within insects. If anything, it seems something that almost all insects use. What we found in mosquitoes is that they have a much lower reliance on the leading edge vortex. And instead, they use two distinctive aerodynamic mechanisms, which are dependent on the rotational parts of the wing at the end of each half stroke. And these are called rotational drag and the trailing edge vortex. The trailing edge vortex is particularly interesting because it's never been seen before in insects or any other animal for that matter. And it's also a form of wake capture. Wake capture is a mechanism where an insect can make use of energy that's dissipated from a previous wing beat. So essentially it's a way of recycling uh, air. And in doing so, it can greatly increase the efficiency of the wing. And the reason why mosquitoes can do this is down to the really finely tuned and precise rotation of the wing at the end of each half stroke. This also accounts for this other mechanism, rotational drag, where by changing whereabouts on the wing, the wing rotates, it can make use of the rotation itself to produce a lift force. But mosquitoes have shown us that if we look at outliers, so insects that don't look like or fly like other insects, we can still discover completely new aerodynamic mechanisms.